I met a gypsy. How did the HRC thing then happen? Like, obviously, you'd done enough, like, you'd showed enough promise, but to everyone, that seemed like a left to center move. And it was funny. I actually can say that I said Mitch should 100% do a 450 because it seemed like everyone was being like, he's got to go on the 250s, he's going to get smoked yeah. in there, then he's going to have one year in the 450s, then he's going to be done. And I was like, I feel like Mitch can probably do extremely well on a 450 there. So how did that come about? And when did you think it was going to be an option? And like, do you know what they even saw in you? Because to everybody, it seemed very left field. Yeah, so th at first, again, it was that red bud thing. Um, yeah, right. Because I battled with Kenny in the, in the second motor there, like all the HRC guys obviously seen that. And then... It was that first motor at Madeley Basin where I almost got lapped. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was, that's so funny, dude. Like, imagine that if you're like, all right, I'm probably not going to win this race because I'm going to get a shit start. So what I'll do is I'll just wait and then I'll go three <laughs> seconds in front of everyone and just stay there the whole time. And I'll just, could, you could like almost win. You could like last place win every motor <laughs> for the <Yeah>. season. <laughs> That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, but like, that it's funny because like you know after that weekend i was pretty disappointed and then i get to vulcan's ward the next weekend and giacomo pulls me to the side and he goes hey you know like they're really impressed with that first motor i was like i finished 35th yeah. <laughs> 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 no but like you're riding really good you know they can see that if you get a good start you're going to be able to run with them so they want you on the 450, and I was like, okay. Sweet. Really? After that? So it was uh, all the way back then? Yeah. No way. And then, so the season went on, and they couldn't find a 250 rider. So by Russia, which was around 8 or 9, they're like, maybe we're going to put you on the 250. And I was like, trying to think of all the positive things, you know, like, yeah, okay, maybe I do need another year. I can build up a bit of money, blah, blah, blah. And... And then in the end, I was just went to them. I said, look, I want 450. And they came back to me and said, yep, we want you on the 450. So when was that about? I think by, so Lockett was, was which was end of July. I think I signed. So like, like halfway through the season almost? Yeah, or a little bit after halfway. Yeah. Um, I think there was, yeah, like five or six rounds to go. That's crazy that it was that far back. How did it feel yeah. knowing that you had that deal going? Yeah, well, it, you know, at the time, because I was in such a bad place with not enjoying it and whatnot, I was like, do I even want to sign it? That's crazy. Thing. Yeah. and It I, makes sense. Like, I know how hard it is yeah. living away. But if you think back now to think the headspace that you would have been in to like want to turn down a deal yeah. with the best team in the like on the planet yeah. like it, it i get it but it's crazy to think right yeah, yeah. and you know like i n sitting here now i'm like thank god i didn't turn that down but also like at the time i was just like i thought this is everything that i wanted you know like growing up or whatever and then 2017 2018 i was just like i just want to get to europe and that's what i want and i was like now that i'm here I'm, i don't even know if i want it and so mum and dad were like just you know we we'll try one more year um we, we'll do it and, and so ended up signing and I, like i came home and everything was announced and i'm here you know i go and see all my friends or whatever and people from motocross and they're like man like how sick is it like you're yeah, Team HRC, that's so amazing. And I'm just like, yeah, I mean, okay. like, And then I was starting to think, you know, like, okay, well, maybe it is good. And Yeah. Anyway, so I went back over there and, um, and uh, my practice bike mechanic, him and I are like best mates now. And I think if I didn't have him, this year wouldn't have been near as, as enjoyable. And yeah, right. I wouldn't be as successful. And because of him, I've been loving it.